Martin Patterson Pat Hingle was an American actor, who has appeared in hundreds of television shows and feature films. His first film was on the waterfront in 1954. He often played tough authority figures. Hingle was a close friend of Clint Eastwood, and appeared in three Eastwood films, Hang, M. High, The Gauntlet, and Sudden Impact. Early Life Martin Patterson Hingle was born in Miami, Florida, the son of Marvin Louise, a schoolteacher and musician, and Clarence Martin Hingle, a building contractor. Hingle enlisted in the United States Navy in December 1941, dropping out of the University of Texas. He served on the destroyer US Marshall during World War II. He returned to the University of Texas after the war and earned a degree in radio broadcasting in 1949. As a Navy reservist, he was recalled to the service during the Korean War and served on the escort destroyer US DeMato. Acting career Hingle began acting in college, and after graduating, he moved to New York and studied at the American Theatre Wing. In 1952, he became a member of the Actors Studio. This led to his first Broadway show, End as a Man. On Broadway, he originated the role of Gooper in the original Broadway production of Tennessee Williams' Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. He played the title role in the award-winning Broadway play J.B. by Archibald MacLeish. He appeared in the 1963 Actors Studio production of Strange Interlude, directed by Jose Quintero, and that championship season. He won a Tony Award nomination for his performance in Dark at the Top of the Stairs. In 1997, he played Benjamin Franklin in the Roundabout Theatre revival of the musical 1776, with Brent Spinner and Greg Edelman. Hingle's first film role was an uncredited part as bartender Dokken on the waterfront. Later in his career, he was known for playing judges, police officers, and other authority figures. He was a guest star on the early NBC legal drama Justice, based on case histories of the Legal Aid Society of New York, which aired in the 1950s. Another notable role was as the father of Warren Beatty's character in Splendor in the Grass which was directed by Elliot Kazan, the director of On the Waterfront. He was widely known for portraying the father of the title character, played by Sally Field, in Norma Ray. He played as Colonel Tom Parker in Elvis by John Carpenter. Hingle had a long list of television and movie credits to his name, going back to 1948. Among them were The Fugitive, Carol for Another Christmas, Nevada Smith, Mission, Impossible, Hang, M. High, The Gauntlet, Sudden Impact, Road to Redemption, When You Come In, Back, Red Rider, Brewster's Millions, Stephen King's Maximum Overdrive, The Grifters, Citizen Cone, The Land Before Time, Wings, and Shaft. Hingle played Drive, Chapman in seven episodes of the TV series Gunsmoke, and Cole. Tucker in the movie Gunsmoke, To the Last Man. In 1963, Hingle guest starred in an episode of The Twilight Zone called The Incredible World of Horace Ford as the title character. He guest starred in the TV series Matlock and Murder, she wrote. In 1980, he appeared in the short-lived police series Stone with Dennis Weaver. He is probably best known in recent times for playing Commissioner Gordon in the 1989 film Batman, and its three sequels. He is one of only two actors to appear in the four Batman films from 1989 to 1997, the other is Michael Goff. In November 2007, he created the Pat Hingle Guest Artist Endowment to enable students to work with visiting professional actors at the University of North Carolina, Wilmington. Personal Life Hingle married Dallas Fay Dorsey on June 3, 1947. They had children Jody, Billy and Molly. The couple later divorced. In 1979 Hingle married Julia Wright. He and his second wife had two children. Accident in 1960, he was offered the title role in Elmer Gantry, but Bert Lancaster filled the part, because Hingle had a nearly fatal accident. He was trapped in the elevator of his West End Avenue apartment building, when it stalled between the second and third floors. 
He crawled out and tried to reach the second floor corridor, but lost his balance and fell 54 feet down the shaft. He fractured his skull, wrist, hip, and most of the ribs on his left side. He broke his left leg in three places and lost the little finger on his left hand. He lay near death for two weeks, and his recovery required more than a year. Death Hingle died at his home in Carolina Beach, North Carolina, of myelodysplasia on January 3, 2009. He had been diagnosed with the disease in November 2006. His ashes were scattered into the Atlantic Ocean. Selected TV and Filmography